Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to give you the neuroscientific definition of mind. Uh, right. Mind is the brain in action. Mind is the brain at work. We have a hundred billion neurons that are seamlessly pieced together. And if you can make those neurons work in different sequences or different patterns or different combinations, you're producing a different level of mind. So you have a mind to brush your teeth, you have a mind to talk a language, you have a, line to, uh, a mind to drive your car, because you're making your brain work in unique ways. Mm -hmm. So mind is the brain in action. Now, the interesting quandary is that the brain is just an organ. It's no different than a liver or a kidney or a gallbladder. It's just a piece of tissue. But we now know, according to the latest research, that we can change the brain. So the question is, who's changing the brain and the mind? The brain can't change the brain because it's just an organ. And mind is the product of the brain, according to neuroscience. And so the answer is that 13-letter word called consciousness. That immaterial aspect of ourselves, that level of self-awareness that supersedes the brain to produce different levels of mind. And so when we have streams of consciousness moving through the brain, the end result is called mind.